Okay, this is like a part two of my raw edit. Um, I decided to, I turned up the exposure a little bit more. Okay, and, and the brightness up a little more. Okay, and do I want to do the contrast? Okay. Uh, then I'm going to bring it in to Photoshop and let me see um, I, I want to do a square hack a square composition and a white border like a like an old Polaroid um, I guess not a Polaroid because those had a, a fatter thing at the bottom I think my mom's old Kodak film camera when I was little. All our pictures have white borders, so I want to do that. Uh, so I'll, what I'm going to do is image our file new, and I'm going to make a square picture um, with 800, height 800, maybe, you know, I'll make it 700. Okay, so there's my square, and I'm going to drag the picture onto my square. Okay, so now I hit uh, Command T to make it smaller. I just have to find my edge here. I guess Polaroids wouldn't be grainy like this, so maybe I'll. Uh, Maybe I'll use my noise reduction action and see what I get. <laughs> okay, what I'm thinking about this crop, I, I don't want to lose the dog's leg here. I'm not concerned about cutting out her hair because she has so much of it over that way. Um, but I, I want a little bit of a space up here and I like the amount of grass that I have. Let me see if I make it a little bit smaller. I'm holding the shift key down as I left click and drag that in. Okay. I like having the grass, all that grass on the bottom because that's that's like my foreground. So then I hit return to get rid of the transformation lines. And okay, it's, it's not as grainy as I thought. Okay, so now I'm going to go into my layers tab. And on this layer, I'm going to hit this FX button and go down to stroke. And this is how I'm going to do my border. Um, change this to inside oh you know what I have to do first I have to merge my layers layer flatten image okay you know what I take that back I have to go back a step and I think it's this layer that I have to do my stroke No. Layer, flatten image. Okay. So I lied. I'm going to make another new file now that I have that square. Sorry, there's a lot of work. It's probably a much easier way to do a border. But I'm going to make my background black and then drag my picture in, my square picture that I made. And now I think I'm going to actually <laughs> hit uh, Command T and just tilt it a little bit. Now I'm going to give it a border. And uh, I'm on that layer. I'm going to go to down to go to down to <laughs> FX and click on stroke. And make my stroke inside. And I want a white border. 
and I want to make it wide Oh, I have to hit OK for my color and then I can go wider okay now see I actually want that looks about right to me where I want the white border um, and now I, I'm not happy with uh, the hair getting cut off there so I really want my okay I really want my white border to be uh, bigger like that so I'm gonna go back into my first picture I might stop the recording after this but uh, go back in history free transform I just moved this down a little bit layer flatten image okay now Now I'm going to bring this picture over. I really messed this up. Okay, I'm going in this one and I'm deleting that layer that I got. Do I want to delete the layer? Yes. Okay, so now I'm moving this picture back over and do the uh, Command T for transform. And I'm going to put it like that. And then I'm going to do the FX stroke get my white border back and I could also use the dropper tool to take um, any color from the picture really but because I'm uh, acting as if it's a Polaroid I'm, I'm gonna take my whitest white here and uh, from the picture and do you see how if you do it this way it's making a rounded border because the positions on the outside if you do the position on the inside the uh, border goes from the outside edge of your picture in okay I'm gonna keep it like that and then if I want to if I want to play with uh, the color of my stroke a little bit I can uh, just click on things and see what color I get that's kind of nice it's like an off-white instead of a stark white little bit of a warmer white that way my picture doesn't look so dark if I go with the blasting white white it makes my picture look dingy okay so that's that's where I'm at I'm going to um, flatten resize and put it on the forum for you guys thanks for watching